Had to make everyone believe I was busting you. Well, you busted me for trafficking and dragged me down here. I think it worked. Good. If Wolf finds out you're undercover, the drug bust will seem like a day at the beach. You were the one who was stupid enough to get caught buying drugs from that loser Cole Thornhart. Don't you butt dad me. Now, I can make these charges go away, but that does not mean you're off the hook. You're grounded. And that is only the beginning. There. If you're here to whine about that construction permit that oh, I pulled... No, 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 I'm just here to invite you to my candidate's televised event where she's going to announce that she's going to be running against you. Your candidate? Hello, Mayor. Yes, Mr. Banks is my campaign manager. <laughs> Got a bad feeling off of Lowell before. Look, I, I know Justin told him that I'm the one that sold him the drugs from Conway. Look, he's got to be out to get me now. As long as he thinks you're just a small-time dealer, you're going to be okay. You think he's suspicious? I don't know if your cover's blown or not, but... Look, if Sergei even thinks that I'm a plan, I'm not taking any chances. That's why you're staying here, where Sergei can't get to you. So you're telling me that Cole is a narc? Cole's not using drugs or selling. He's working for the cops, okay? <laughs> Are you serious? He's working for John McBain? Yes. And he isn't doing anything wrong in What's so funny? Come on, Star. You, you, I can't believe you bought this idea that he's he's working undercover for John McBain. He is, Dad. He's definitely not using, and he is certainly not selling. He's working for John McBain. Okay, that was the deal that John made with the judge so that he wouldn't have to go to prison. I thought he was supposed to do community service. If getting the dealers out of my high school isn't community service, then I don't know what is. see this thing through. After what I did to Matthew, I need to do that. You did plenty, Cole. The rest is up to us. What's the latest? Anything good? The mayor never said or did anything incriminating. I mean, nada. Thank you. I will take over from here. Hey, you do know this is between you, me, and McBain, right? Right. We came to invite you to my announcement. Why on earth would I attend? A show of confidence, perhaps? In you. No, Mayor. In yourself. I think you need to let the public see that you're not in the slightest intimidated by my candidacy, and that as a result, the campaign will not be dirty and negative. As soon as Cole helps the cops find out who's bringing drugs into Landview, he'll be able to come back and be with me and Hope. If he doesn't get the two of you killed first. Cole is not going to get anyone killed. What I'm worried about is you forcing me to tell you that. Dad, please, please don't make me sorry for trusting you. Son of a bitch, McBain. He's in Cole to do his dirty work. Dad, please. And you know who's going to pay the price if these drug dealers find out? You and Hope. I mean, these people are animals, Star. No one They'll is... They'll have no trouble hurting you and Hope to get back at Cole. No one is going to find out about Cole. What are you thinking? And why wasn't I told about this? Because no one knows about it, Dad. Not even Mom knows about it. That's why it's called undercover. Now, could you please stop freaking out? Okay, everything's under control. John has been doing nothing but making sure that Hope and I are protected, and... I, it's the only time I see Cole is when we accidentally run into each other. I feel so much better now. Dad, John is making sure that Cole is safe, oh, and yes. me too. God, you and your mother. You guys think McBain can never do wrong. He went too far with this, and I'm going to put a stop to it. You helped us focus in on the mayor. The department can take it from here. You avoided that prison bit. Now you can focus on your future. Star on the baby. When all this is over, you can... Get back to that life you should have had. But it's not over yet, is it? No. 
holes in the traffickers' pockets. And there's a dirty cop out there who's working for the dealers and the mayor. Hey, Hey, I'm on my way to lunch. What's up? Is McBain in? No. Want me to leave a message for him? Are you sure he's not in? Yes. Officer Fish is in there. Why? What does Fish do in McBain's office? Let me call him first. Never mind. I'll see what he's up to myself. And what time is this event? Oh, big... What the hell are you doing, Fish? If I was you, I'd be there about a half hour early just to be safe. So, be there or be square is essentially your pitch? Well, I think like Vicky said, you're showing up and sort of sounding all sportsmanlike would really send a message to the public that this is going to be a clean campaign. Hmm? I'm already sending that message, but I'm sending it my way. So thank you. Okay, Mayor, Mayor, Mayor. I've been studying your ways, okay? I've been learning all about you. And it seems that you like to lure your opponents down into the mud with you. Okay? You slug away at each other for about six months, and then you start screaming about running a clean campaign right before Election Day. Now, that works. But I'm afraid that only works when the other guy is an empty suit just like you. Charlie! Vicky! And what can we do for you? Well, we were just inviting your candidate to come attend my candidate's announcement. Uh -huh. hmm? Vicky, is Charlie your idea of a campaign manager? Oh, yes. And what does a building contractor know about a campaign? Well, certainly as much as an unemployed doctor does. Anyway, you'll find out soon enough. Indeed. Would you excuse us? The mayor and I have urgent matters to discuss. No, we'll need that answer soon. Mm -hmm. I don't know why everybody says she's so classy. Whatever you need to talk to me about, it's going to have to wait. I need to deal with my son's drug arrest. No, no, no. That's what I want to talk to you about. I know how we can help your son escape those drug charges. He was buying those drugs from an undercover agent. You're telling me, you're telling me Cole Thornhart was working undercover? That's exactly what I'm telling you. I should have never sold to the mayor's son. You did what Sergey told you to do. I busted the kid so he wouldn't use. Maybe now I'll get the help that he needs. I wouldn't bet on it. Cool. At least your cover wasn't blown. We, we bugged Lowell's office. We'll know if he's found out about you. I knew my niece's boyfriend couldn't be a drug dealer. He's a police informant. No kidding. Of course, now I'm really worried about Star and her baby. I can see why. The good news is... Your son's lawyer can claim entrapment. I mean, Cole was working for the police. John McBain must have used information he got from Cole to arrest your son. Fish gets a hint the mayor's on to you. He'll be all over it. What are you doing in McBain's office when he isn't here? He had some IT issues. He was hoping that I could solve them so he wouldn't have to send this thing out to get fixed. I'm good with computers. What's this gizmo? Dad, please don't do anything. This thing with Cole is almost over. Sorry, I'm just gonna sit back and let something happen to you and Hope. I'll go over McBain's head if I have to, but this ends today. You cannot tell anyone. If the wrong person finds out that Cole is undercover, you could get him killed. <laughs> 